Hey guys, if we reach a thousand likes, we'll be giving out two of our new shirts. All you gotta do is click like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Magic is something that allows the impossible to become possible. It allows the transmutation of elements like lead into gold, makes those without flight fly, and those without strength powerful. That being said, so can science, but only one has a huge downside. But speaking of technology, here's a 30 second ad dealing with Filmora's new techie add-ons. Filmora is back for an entire new pack. Add overlays that look like Iron Man or Star Trek. No longer do you need a giant studio hell to be able to make these HUDs and overlay effects. With Filmora, it's as simple as plug and play. If you want to make it look like you're in a command center, well that's easy too. The pack comes with all new elements, overlays, filters, transitions, and yes, even amazing intros that look like they should cost hundreds of dollars. So if you want to step up your editing game, go ahead and visit Filmora in the, in the first two links down in the description. There's something we've never really talked about regarding MLP. The world has existed for a while, and Equestria as the nation for thousands of years as well. And all throughout that time, their technology hasn't really grown. It still appears to be the exact same from where it started before Equestria was founded. Lamps fueled by oils, carts pulled by ponies, fields tilled by them as well. In fact, just about everything is pony powered. You see, the society takes full advantage of magic. Everything here in this world is essentially powered by it. If you look at most things, you can pretty much assume that it's something magical. Everything in this world is fueled by magic such as the weather, and not just physical things like perhaps plant growth or food services or surgery, but things more nebulous like the weather, politics, society. I mean, on the surface though, this sounds like a regular utopia though, right? Despite the low level of technology, they control things like the weather and haven't had a war in thousands of years. Magic isn't a non-renewable resource like oil, so there's no resource war to be had. Need more water? Simply create more water. Plus, you get to be an amazing, magical thing, right? You can use magic to solve all your problems. Why do you need anything else? But peel back those rose-tinted glasses for just a moment, and you can realize something startling. Things that happen when you trade science for magic. This world is ruled not by an individual's ability to succeed through their own strength, but by their birth race. When you are a pegasus, your fate is sealed in the sky. You are there for the regulations of the weather and all things concerning what's above. While if you're an earth pony, you are forced to waddle in the mud for the rest of your life, tending to the fields and doing all kinds of menial labor for those who are above you. And the unicorns, well, they stand above all, knowing they have the ability to control all aspects of life. They are the only ones with real social mobility. Unicorns will always be higher up than other races in this rigid caste system. But they have the ability to now grow their magic and raise their standing in society. But they are the only group to be able to do so. We've seen time and time again that unicorns are always able to outperform the others and can even take over their jobs seamlessly when powerful enough. You see, their world is ran off of magic, cutting out the majority of people from the upward social mobility. They are locked and their caste system and they will die in the social standing that they were born into. Well, ours is ran on technology, the great equalizer. But it also creates social change. It allows people to grow as a society. You see, while our population boomed, so did our ability to house and feed them all. We needed a way to take care and provide for everyone. Not only that, but because of the boom in technology allowing us to feed more and more people, we were able to grow our population size even more. Due to advances in technology, we also had more leisure time to advance other fields of science. We discovered and explored far more than anyone would have thought possible, and our knowledge of our own planet dwarfs that of even the smartest unicorn. In our world, a person isn't just born into a class and stuck there. At least, 
They don't have to be. We have choices. And that's what a world of magic robs you of. Cutie marks, races, cities. All things that bind you to a predefined path in life. And sure, you have peace, but at what cost? If I shoved you in a cage for the rest of your life, you would never experience a war. If I kept on giving you food and water, you would never go hungry or thirsty. But is that really the life that you would want? To be stuck in one spot for the entirety of your short existence? Is that what's really living to you? It's a sad state of affairs that something most of us dream and wish we had would be such a limiting concept. Magic is supposed to make the impossible possible, but if only a part of the population has magic, well, it's not exactly a leveled playing field now, is it? Humans are an interesting concept. We're not particularly fast compared to our other animal counterparts. We're not really strong either. We can't see in the dark, can't breathe underwater, but what we can do is we can think. And through our thoughts, we climbed the food chain, and eventually simply just removed ourselves from it. Our technology set us free, and perhaps a world filled with magic, where everyone could use it, could be a true utopia. Because really, magic would simply be science that we don't yet understand. But in this world, they don't really have the ability opportunity to offer magic to everyone, nor do they really explore what magic truly is. Yes, there's science on magic, as in they know some things will create some sort of effect, but they don't truly go deeper than that, and that's where they start stumbling. In this world, people aren't born equal, and they're treated as such. But hey, that's just one person's opinion. There's a lot of you guys out there, so let me know what you guys think. I've been Faith and Malumnus. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.